And now for something a little bit different. As those of you who are literate uh, have already divined, this is Cortex Command. Cortex Command is... Um, how shall I describe Cortex Command? We played Liero. If you haven't, you should. It's kind of like Liero. So it's, it's 2D side-scrolling action strategy. Maybe. Um, my definition disagrees with that of... Um, the, the, the definition on the Wikipedia, but um, I think mine's more accurate. They have some bullshit about like it's an action game or something like that. Anyway, I think uh, Cortex Command is a great concept, but it's very much an unfinished game. Uh, it's it's still a lot of fun to play, um, and it, it's quite surprising that, that this unfinished game is actually um, is on Steam. Not that like everything on Steam is amazing, but you would think that um, it would have a bit more polish, but it doesn't. Um, but still. I love it, and I wanted to show uh, I wanted to show Cortex Command to you guys. Right, so um, let's go to I haven't. There's a campaign mode uh, which I haven't really touched. I kind of touched it. it. Was very confusing. This is one of the one of the, during one of the first minutes of, of actually playing Cortex Command. So instead, I went to the scenario battles, um, which is uh, there's a tutorial here as well, and then there's some other stuff that you can you can do like um, like skirmishes and different types of skirmishes and defenses and assaults and blah 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 blah. Um, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go on a control chip hunt, which is um, a zombie wave kind of thing. What are those things called? You know, the where the zombies are attacking and you need to like mow them down um, and survive. It's not a survival mode, you actually need to get something, you need to get the chip. But anyway, so this is the kind of the map of the, um, or, yeah, I guess, um, sort of a map in Cortex Command. Uh, you can't really spin the um, the planet, you cannot look on the other side. It's, it's It gives a impression that it's a sphere, it's not really a sphere, it's a circle. Um, and if you go, for example, to other um, scenarios, uh, you can have uh, different see locations that you can choose from but the zombie cave thing happens only in one place that has a zombie cave um, and the terrain here is obviously different and who is this what's this oh this is the snow cover stuff so you got snow you got jungle well kind of you got caves you got um, desert type situation I think well, where we are going is more deserty um, and before I even get to the game there's certain things I want to mention certain major problems I think that the game has and you need to be aware of um, before you kind of dive in and, and buy it. And it doesn't come cheap either, it costs about 14 or 15 pounds. It's quite a lot of money for an unfinished game. Um, again, I'm not totally dissing the game, I, I, I personally like it, I think, I, and I wish that people would just continue improving it and hopefully that is what's going to happen. Um, so problems are as follows, I'm just going to back out of here for a second. Um, the key binding, which is absent, like this game is made for PC, but yet um, you can have up to four players on the same same uh, computer uh, using game pads, and that's the only multiplayer that exists at the moment, unless someone like made a fan page, uh, fan made. There's a, maybe there's a fan made uh, online multiplayer. I don't. know, I'm just like speculating. I have no idea uh, because there are a lot of mods, and modding is is very welcome with this game, as in like it comes with some modding uh, features on its own. Uh, but look at this um, Six keys are are assigned or can be assigned uh, You got the movement keys and then previous body and next body So you got six keys and the mouse with uh, two the left click and the right click and that's your controls uh, Even though there's much more actions uh, Many more actions in the game that you can you can do but you cannot assign them to any keys, which I, which is just mind-boggling. I don't understand why would someone do this. Also, you need to be very careful with the, uh, your escape key, because in many at many points in different menus, it will just directly quit the game without asking you, you know, the the famous question of would you like to quit, yes or no, or whatever, you know, the different uh, versions of this. But anyway, so I think just these are the two main things I wanted to mention before I go on. Oh, major issues with res resolution. I am now actually playing this in a windowed mode because if I go to uh, a full screen mode, which guess how you do that? You could press Alt Enter as if you're watching a film. So if when I go there, I cannot record with Fraps. Fraps just stops recognizing um, 
the window and it doesn't exist for fraps for some reason anyhow yeah so three things i guess i, I wanted to mention before starting the game uh and now the fun part so we're gonna go on a zombie hunt and um yeah everything seems to be chosen let's go medium difficulty uh there's a yeah this is a difficulty bar here you go hard there's nuts and nuts with an exclamation mark or you can go cake which is very easy let's go medium because i actually haven't beaten this one i i kind of finished well I, I got the chip last time i played but um i ran out of money and in the end you also need to send it into space uh you can also play as zombies but i tried that it was not very fun um okay let's play as uh whatever player one people thing so there you go um this is what it looks like we have our brain delivered well, the idea of the game is that um it's it's a future where uh why, why am i not flying Okay, so apparently it cancelled any binding of the keys because I pressed skip, skip, skip. And it, it just gave no binding whatsoever. But everything is fine now. So as you can see, um, two, um, whatever, um, two-dimensional screen, two-dimensional map, two-dimensional display. Um, you can, uh, this is basically what you see is where you go. It, there's no, not, not very much vertical movement. There's a bit of it, uh, but not very much. Uh, so this is the brain. He's... Um, uh, brain attached to to the robotic body. Uh, they can also be placed in bunkers and controlling everything from the bunkers instead of actually moving around and having a gun like um, like now. Uh, this is the control dial, I guess. I don't know what the official name is. Where you, for example, reload. It would be so easy to have a key that would just reload, but instead you have to do that. And to pick up something, to drop something, to so drop pistol, you have to do that. And then, oh, don't fall in there. Oh, that sucks. You have jetpack. Everyone has jetpacks, basically. Not, well, almost everyone. So to pick up, you go over there again, where you used to reload. Um, environment is obviously um, entirely destructible, like in the arrow. Uh, and when you shoot it, like because you have a pistol now, it doesn't. You can't really see probably, properly, but it actually the, the the rock is chipping off, and that's really awesome. Uh, if you look down there, you can see that there's gold um, deposited in the soil, uh, which can be gathered. Uh, for resources on the left uh, upper corner you see the funds that we have the ounces of gold um, as i understand um, so two things you need to be doing in the game is collecting resources the gold downstairs um, and and killing other things uh, you can see that there's an arrow pointing over there and saying destroy destroy and protect the brain because if the brain dies the, the game is over uh, some foolish things in the game um, if you walk to the right side, uh, you, you just, not all maps are like this, but this one, for example. If I, if I were to fly over there, uh, I would just lose the game because he just goes into the void and disappears. Or if I or one of my troops um, digs down too deep, uh, he just falls through. Like, just physically disappears and you lose that unit. And if it's the brain, then you lose the game. Very, uh, very weird choice of, uh, of level design, if you ask me, but, you know. Then again, I'm not a game designer. Um, right, so, main thing besides killing things and walking around and flying around, you do is you shop. And this is your space order catalog. Uh, things get delivered to you from um, space, either in a crate, in rockets, or in dropships. There's another dropship, uh, there's another rocket and a dropship over here. You can control them as well, if you wish to, wish to do so. And you can use dropships as... Um, uh, as bombers so you can load them up instead of like with the soldier light smg and a medium digger you can put bombs in there and then go with it and just bomb the shit out of your enemies I'm, I'm, well they can also shoot you down so it's not it's not as uh, you're not going to be um immune to their their weapons obviously um so and then you order different bodies if, you, if there's uh there's more drop down menus here uh, so let's say let's get rid of let's get, get something more exotic and there's like different factions supposedly that you um, uh, that have their own weapons which is quite which I, it's, it's a quite you know it's a good touch I love the faction I love the design of the um, of the bodies of the units as well so let's say that we'll get an all-purpose robot and um, we're going to give him some tools because he needs to dig for us let's give him a medium digger and a weapon just in case he needs to um, uh, protect himself and this is the list of the weapons um, and then there's there should be more there we go so this is the list of the weapons 
And then there's more that you can add through mods um, to the game. There's also listed bombs and grenades. Um, there's one shield. <laughs> and presets are just like um, like a soldier you can order, whatever. Um, let's change craft. Shall we keep the rocket or... Yeah, let's, you know, let's whatever. Let's keep the rocket. Maybe we could even get this rocket because it's a very cheap rocket. Uh, but it's still a bit more safer than the crate. The crate sometimes dumps in a weird place. And I've had like people die because the crate mislanded. Um, that's in the case uh, if mislanded is actually a word. Okay, so we need to give them a gun. Um, so this is the the rubbish guns that are up here, just the regular ones. They're not that rubbish. I mean, they're fine. Um, let's give them... A, I don't know. He doesn't really need anything. Let's give him a, a, a compact assault. No, let's give him a shotgun. There we go. And this is how you get them um, to you. You deliver your... You you get a little uh, cursor that says uh, where you want to put it. That indicates the landing position. And then in four or five seconds, the rocket appears. And <laughs> he posits your guy. Yeah, this one is, is... This rocket is a bit... Oh, oh man. Can't you just land? There we go. Okay, so and you can switch between your units like so, with using your E and key, like E and Q key, keys. Um, and then you can give them... Um, so what is he holding right now? Oh, so this is the digger, and, you know, it's, it's very straightforward. You use the digger to dig, like so. Um, and he also had a shotgun, right? There we go, it's a shotgun. Um, so I'm going to put him down here, in this hole and tell him to um, to dig. So you go on this dial and go to gold dig AI mode and then you switch back to your brain and he just starts digging as you can see. And everything, all the gold he kind of touches um, so to say with his digger, he turns into money immediately and then he can spend it to get stuff. Alright, so um, I don't, I really want to keep my my brain kind of far away from the action because we need to keep him protected, more or less. Um, so I'm going to order some more troops. I'm going to order... Maybe again, an all-purpose robot, because I like him. Um, and let's let's get a nice explosive weapon and go into the cave. Um, hmm, what shall we get? I, I, was, uh, I was using last time. Oh, RPG. RPG is fine. There we go. So all-purpose robot with an RPG. And meanwhile, this one is going to be digging. Uh, and you can see with the money, money is piling up. But what, what happens usually is they end up just fall, falling through this, to, to, the, to the void around the map. Uh, which is kind of a shame. Um, weapons, weapons are really a lot of fun. There's a, there's a variety and, you know, it goes from light to heavy, blah, blah, blah. And explosive and non-explosive and sniper. But they all come with their own twists. And these factions have also their kind of, like... Uh, Tachyon is te Tachyon whatever faction is is more technology and kind of like an energy oriented and the Ronins are kind of basically humans uh, and so on. But anyway, let's uh, let's get things started here and let's get our let's get our delivery. Um, hopefully, it will be able to land there, and we'll move on to the zombie area. <laughs> the thing is terrible. No wonder it's so cheap. Can it land? Oh, you can land. Nice. You can actually control it, rocket. I'm just kind of... Um, I don't really want to do that right now, because uh, I'm afraid I'm just going to break it. So it's, and also, uh, physics are quite well done, or well executed, because the more weapons, the more items you have, the heavier you become, it's high, it's, uh, the harder it becomes to fly around. And that's the zombie, uh, or a clone, or whatever it is. Um, they, I don't think they can actually fight you, but um, they can pick up your weapons if you die and drop them. And they're giving given a, a little um, a grenade as well that is, is dispensed. I'll show you that in a minute. So um, this is how an RPG works. Uh, I love the destruction and the way it's modeled in the game. I think it's amazing. Um, so let's continue our, our journey. You can actually, if you um, your momentum is too great, you can and you run out of uh, jetpack fuel, which kind of recharges on its own, obviously, as you can see. Oh, there they are. And they're dispensed from the thing in the uh, up in the ceiling. Ah, uh, no. They're gonna... See, they're throwing bombs at me. 
and they kill one of their own. So it, it's triggered like that, and then you start they start dispensing more and more um, zombies as you are trying to invade the cave. Whoa, I got hit as well. And um, yeah, st sparks start uh, are uh, start to fly around on you as you get hit. It's quite a lot of fun. Uh, or the people who are the organic uh, bodies start to bleed. Obviously, you can lose legs, for example, or hands, or arms and uh, still be functional kind of or maybe if you lose arms you won't be able to hold the weapon anymore and blah 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 so it, it's it's very um exciting i mean to me i think it's it's absolutely non-scripted or not very scripted i guess um i when i play this game i feel like there's a lot of freedom and i just wish there was a there was a multiplayer oh he's coming too close can i still do it can i still do it can i still do it ah, yes i can do it and I, yeah, I got hit by, just by a little bit. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it only detonates when it goes through hard stuff, so... Hitting like a small bodies, uh, like a soft bodies like this is not, doesn't really cause shrapnel to come, um, to, to harm you. Okay, so, um, you could just, I could basically, um, um, Make this, make AI take over the control over this robot, and then he would start just eliminating uh, all the zombies here. Um, the idea is to uh, kind of kill enough of them, uh, and you can see the bodies are piling up. Um, so, ah, oh shit, that hurt. Uh, I think I lost the landing there. Um, and then you'll be able. Oh shit! Whoa, 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 whoa my RPG! My RPG, no, don't take that. It's mine. Ah, oh, there we go. Was he biting me? Whoa. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna order some more troops because I got I got loads of money. Um, let's get someone who doesn't have an RPG. While well, this guy is gonna be standing here because it automatically goes into this. Um, defense mode, I guess. But you can also tell them to go into offensive mode and just advance. Or patrol the area, that can also work. Um, okay, let's get rid of this robot and get, some, get a different one. Let's get um, combat robot. Yeah. What happened? Did he die? No, it's fine. Um, crabs. Crabs are free, by the way. You can get some crabs. Let's get a crab. Um, let's get Silverman. And give him... Some Silverman tools, like, for example, Pulse Rifle, and have him deliver it here. What's up with other people? He's digging. Oh, he's not falling through. That's good. The brain is just sitting there. That's also good. Ah, oh, see, I, I'm in control of this thing now. And if I press fire, uh, the left mouse... Ow, 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 ow. I will release the guy. Ah, oh, there's the crab. <laughs> Where am I controlling now? Oh, I'm controlling the crab. The crab one can only, can only like walk around a little bit. <laughs> I love the crabs. There's a mission around crabs as well. All right, so let's get our Superman here. They're very good at flying because I think they were they're very light, even when holding weapons. So let's see how this works. Awesome! This is exactly what we need. Sustained fire. Amazing. This is this is exactly what we need. And notice that wow, 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 wow! Throwing stuff. They're throwing stuff. Um. I was, say, I was saying, notice that um, a little clip drops as you uh, whoa, 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 as you uh, reload. I think a nice, always a nice touch. See how well that worked? It's an amazing weapon. Ah! Come on, reload, reload! Awesome. Now we can advance in there. Um, we need to destroy this thing, really, to uh, achieve anything. Oh, uh, come on. There we go. Come on, there we go. It's destroyed. Zombie is killed. 
And this is uh, the grenade dispenser, which I'm gonna destroy as well. Done. So let's reload and continue. There's another dispenser inside. I love how well they're flying. Silvermen are awesome. Um, notice the dinosaurs embedded into the, or encrusted into the cave. Uh, and into different rocks as well and rock formations. Okay. So if I go through here, I can destroy their thing. <laughs> There we go, almost, we're almost there. They're not very good at uh, moving around. Um, they don't, the zombies are, or the clones, they're sometimes they call them clones, are not very good at flying. There we go. Done. So no more bombs will be dispensed. Um, so, but they can kind of leap a little bit, and there's kind of leap crouch movement that they do. Uh, whoa, 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 what, was, what, what are they throwing at me? I think they're trampling each other down there. Can I hit that thing? Whoa, 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 ho, ho, zombies, go away. How do they climb out? They just climb on each other. Almost destroyed that thing. Oh, careful, careful, Silverman, careful. There we go, it's done. Right, let's kill all the zombies. Wow, the frame rate drop was immense right there. Okay, a little, bit of a zombie massacre going on. Okay, cool. So what you need to do here now is you need to destroy this this thing. Oh shit, they're already here. Fuck! I thought they'd come later. Oh man. No, 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 not the brain! Oh god. Quick, buy stuff. I need to run. No, 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 don't kill me. Ah! Come on, come on, you're my only hope. There we go. Kill them, kill them almost dead. Fuck. <laughs> come on, he survived. What a trooper. Oh, shit. Is it my guy or is it their guy? Is it my guy? Oh, we survived. Oh, thank God. Oh no, my brain is dying. Quick, I need the medic thing. Medic. Thing, where are you? Medic thing. Bodies, quick. Quick, 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 quick. Medic drone, yes. Oh, failed. Oh. Well. That's Cortex Command for you. <laughs> so what was gonna happen essentially is that um, you... I thought that it only starts, this thing is triggered when you destroy and, and pick up the chip, but apparently not. I, was, I didn't prepare, I was gonna prepare for this because I knew they were gonna come. Uh, so what happens essentially is um, these guys kind of, the Ronins land and they're like, they're, they're, they want to stop you for whatever reason. Um, and I, if you're prepared and you have like five, four troops outside then everything goes fine but they just go straight for your brain um, and and then kill it unless unless uh, you're you're ready for them and you're protected so yeah I wasn't ready for them <laughs> but I uh, hopefully this gives you some idea of uh, what cortex command is like and um, I, I intend to do a bit more of um, um, some more videos about this um, and maybe I'll try some mods and try a different uh, oh thanks you just I, I didn't really press anything here um, and uh, try the campaign maybe. Uh, again, like I said, the game is a bit limited, not complete, not finished, even though they were working on it for like, 11 years or whatever. Um, but I think it's a lot of fun, and um, if you have enough cash, you should give give it a go. I guess I bought it on a on a on a discount during the uh, what was it um, Steam Autumn Sale or whatever, half price. 
Um, but yeah, I've been eyeing it for like a year. I was thinking, like, ah, I should get Cortex Command. Uh, 15 pounds is, is, is quite a bit of money. But anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully there will be more episodes of Cortex Command with uh, Firewater Gasoline. So um, I'll see you next time. Bye.